Just days after Governor Ron DeSantis signed a parental rights bill into law, it's already facing a court challenge. Equality Florida is suing the governor over that so-called don't say gay bill. Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joining us live now. So Valerie, you've been going through all of these documents. What did you find? Hey there, Luann. Well, this is the new lawsuit filed today. Equality Florida says the new law attempts to erase the LGBTQ people in Florida schools. It's our belief that it's always age appropriate to affirm that LGBTQ people exist, that we deserve the same respect and dignity as everyone else. Uh, and that's why, of course, we're challenging this law. You're challenging it legally. Are you arguing that there's a constitutional right to have classroom instruction for first graders about things like transgender and gender ideology. I can't imagine that a, a court would accept that. It's a war of words over the new parental rights law, also known as the Don't Say Gay legislation. Brandon Wolf of Equality Florida says they're joining Family Equality, the National Center for Lesbian Rights, and their legal partners to appeal the new law, saying it limits conversations about sexual orientation and gender identity. Gender identity is whether a teacher prefers to be called Mr. or Mrs. Sexual orientation is someone mentioning who their parents are, who their partner is. And but Governor Ron DeSantis says this law is about protecting the rights of parents. Uh, which I think is very, very important because there's a movement to say that somehow parents should just butt out of the schools. I think that that's wrong. But what happens if a child comes from a family with gay or lesbian parents? Uh, and another kid in the classroom says, that's weird. You can't have two moms or two dads. Where, where is your other parent? At what point does it become classroom instruction on sexual orientation for a teacher to affirm the value and dignity and humanity of that family? You can't say that anyone's been injured by it because it has not actually been put, put into effect. I would also say um, it's really focusing on uh, what schools, what's appropriate for schools to do. It doesn't even regulate student speech. Like and the new law goes into effect on July 1st. Live in Orlando, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Val. Also, the U.S. Secretary of Education is in Central Florida today to talk about that controversial bill. He says that his department is watching closely and waiting to see how it's implemented. That office is designed to make sure that the civil rights of students is being protected. So if uh, in the implementation uh, we receive requests for investigations, we will thoroughly investigate. President Biden also tweeting this video today expressing his support for transgender Americans. Today, by the way, is International Transgender Day of Visibility. He says he hopes to pass a bipartisan Equality Act to help trans people live without fear. Also, the Republican National Committee responded by saying it's alarming that Democrats want young children to learn about sexual orientation. 